Um, all right. You want to start with anything, or? Uh, you know, obviously we're hosting the uh, the WNIT uh, this Thursday against Denver. Uh, the biggest thing, and Dave Williams is going to be here as well. Um, but for the ticketing information, the tickets are on sale. They started on sale today at noon. Every seat is reserved in Dream Style Arena. Um, season ticket holders up until 5 p.m. tomorrow, Wednesday, um, have their seats protected, and they have to uh, either call or come directly to the ticket office. They can't do it online to essentially claim their seats. If they don't do it by the 5 o'clock deadline tomorrow, then their seats are just um, anybody in the general public can purchase those. So it's a little bit different from how the WNIT went last year, so trying to cater to the season ticket holders and making sure that they at least have an opportunity to get their, their seats back. So that's the biggest thing. The tickets are on sale. They're 10 bucks for adults, $4 for adults, <coughs> 3 up to college age, 2 and under or 3. All right. Thanks, Dana. Um, yeah, I think I think with all of that, and we would talk and had discussions and met about all that, um, how to get it right for for everyone, you know, that's that that wants to come to the games, um, you know, and, and definitely the season ticket holders, you know, that they they show up all you know seventeen to twenty times that that we play, um, you know, to make sure that they they get to get in there, get in the seat that they're used to. So I think it's great. Um, also, I would in, I would encourage uh, anybody and everybody to to come out. Um, it's it's a big deal um, to be to be playing now. I mean, you're talking about only 30 percent of the teams are playing, you know. And it's you know we we kid that you know it's it's really hard in basketball, um, you know, to to do this. You know, in football, it's like 70 percent of the people get to play. You know, it's it's almost hard to not, and then in, in baseball, it's it's half of them, you, you know, that get to play, and um, so you know, it's it's a difficult thing to do, and it's it's a special thing for for us to be playing, um, and uh, we won't take that for granted, and I hope our fans don't either. Um, that uh, you know, this is the first time in ten years that you know we've played in a in a postseason tournament back to back years. Um, so, you know, we, we have a chance to do some things that haven't been done, and, and we're looking forward to that, and we need those people to come out um, and, and be here and be loud. And it will also have a, an, an effect down the road, too, um, of future home games. Um, you know, the more people that come out, if we're fortunate enough to, to win a game, um, you know, our chances of hosting another, um, you know, go up dramatically. Um, you know, with with our fan support, and you know, like we've said all year, we we have the best fans in the country, and and you know, we're going to need them now uh, for this final stretch of you know what hopefully turns out to be a couple of weeks. What do you know about the Pioneers, Coach? I know they make a lot of threes. Um, they make just under ten threes a game. They shoot it at forty percent uh, as a team. They got one kid that's made one hundred and five. Um, which I think is second or third in the country. Um, they score 81 points a game, which is top 10. Um, so I, I know they really score the ball. The The pace of this game will be uh, extremely fast, probably be the fastest paced game that we've played all year. Um, so again, I think that will be exciting for the fans as well. Which how beneficial have these practices been with players now adjusting to maybe new positions and that kind of thing to get you know, to get acclimated to the point guard position or whatever, uh, heading into a game like that? It's been good. You know, we've been able to, to hopefully adjust. You know, I think that was hard for us. Not an excuse, but it was hard for us. We basically had one practice to figure out how to play with a, without a player that dominates the ball 80% of the time. And, um, you know, offensively in that game, we, we did struggle. Um, but we've had some time now to to make make some hopefully what, what we feel like are necessary adjustments and and things that can help us be more successful. You feel encouraged that you guys are getting a good turnout based upon the last time you were playing over eight thousand. I hope so. You know, I, I really do. And um, you know, again, I think this is the perfect game for people to want to come see too. I mean, I, I'd be shocked if the game. You know, both teams will easily, I think, get over eighty. And you know, wouldn't be surprised if it's, you know, a hundred and ninety-five kind of game. So it's, um, you know, I think it'll be an exciting game to watch. You have no problem, coach, playing fast. Um, they want to play fast. 
Is that something that, that you want to get him to attract me with? Yeah, I don't know if we want to play quite as fast as they do, but, but we won't slow down. You know, we, we won't slow the pace down much at all. Um, you know, so, I mean, it's the way we play, too. I mean, you know, we – I don't know what the final one was. We averaged 78 or 70-something points a game, too. So, um, we, we won't slow down. We just probably won't shoot as many threes as they shoot. How excited does the team seem to be with another opportunity to play at home? Yeah, it's they, – they've been real excited. Um, you know, even – so, we took a couple of days off. And um, then from that point on, um, the attitude's been great, energy level's been good, and that's not easy, you know, this time of year, especially off coming off a game where we were trying to find the right word in the locker room after the game in, in Vegas. And, um, you know, and I, I, I went around the room and was trying to pry it out of, you know, anybody, give me something, and, and couldn't get a single word out of any kid on our team. And uh, finally asked, asked one of my assistants, and I was like, w what is it? I said, well, tell me what you think or whatever. And it was shock. Could not believe that we lost that game. Um, and um, I think once the shock wore off, then, um, you know, we, we realized that 24-6 and six is, uh, is pretty good. And, and we probably all would have taken that if you said, hey, this is what it's going to be through 30 games. You know, um, so it's, you know, the only time you wouldn't take it's when you were 24 and five, you know. So um, once we got over that, you know, and realized that, you know, it's we're, we're not a one and done team when we get to the tournament and won't be. Um, so uh, we'll move on. And I think practice has been really good. Okay. Yeah. Um Obviously, the NCAA was a goal needing to make that, but it's with the team and the situation you're in, having just lost your point guard and and, and so on. Is it <clears throat> is playing in the WNIT where you've got a chance to make a better chance to make a run? Is that a benefit to you as far as you're concerned? Yeah, it's the tournament we're in, you know. And and I've been asked over and over, you know, uh, are you going to play uh, um, younger kids? You going to do this? You going to change this? You going to? We're in this tournament to win. So we're going to play whoever we have to play, however long we have to play them, to to win a game, and and that's that's it. So, um, you know, it's, this is where we're at, and and we're excited to be here too. Coach, you, they, they have five Devil Fear players uh, starters, and and uh, have you had a chance to really see if I know Nelson's their 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 big scorer, but can you name anybody that maybe is a a really excellent three-point shooter, or are they all? Because I know they're shooting almost 40% threes. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I can't rattle off all of them's names yet because I haven't slept much. Yeah. But but I have watched them, and I can rattle off all their numbers for you. Yeah. Um, number three shoots almost 50%, and she's made 105. Wow. Okay. Um, so, uh, you know, obviously – and she's, I think, their second leading scorer. Um, so that's a threat. 22 is the point guard. Um, she can make them. Uh, 23 is the four player who's their leading scorer, leading rebounder who you referenced. Um, their three player, number 12, um, really puts it on the floor. Um, she can also make threes. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like we know them well. I just can't rattle off their name yet. Coach, it seems like they play better at home. Because the road record seemed like they struggled. With them. <laughs> I, I mean, maybe, maybe the only people only show me their clips at home. Uh, it looks like to me they make every shot. So I've watched about six hours of them. I don't know if I saw them miss one. So um, I, I think they'll be fine anywhere they play. Mike, because they played four teams that you played, how much does that help you get a sense when you can watch them play Wyoming or? or... I, I wouldn't say a whole lot. One, Wyoming and us do not play the same way. Um, and that was so long ago. There were some teams they've played recently in the league that, that play like us. Um, so we can go more off of that than we can a game in December. And again, you know, um, who was it? Wyoming, there was another one in our league too. Um, Colorado State. Colorado State. Yeah, like Wyoming and Colorado State and us couldn't be any more different. So um, those two games wouldn't be able to help us at all.
No, so the scores when they did play, they were close. So they lose 78, 74, and mm -hmm. stuff like that. They weren't like blown out any time, really. It seemed like when I was looking at some of the scores when I was looking at them. Up. Oh, you're right. They're, it's because they're good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like they're they got a really good team. I mean, they beat South Dakota, who just got an at-large bid, and they're like I don't know six or seven seeds. So, trust me, they're plenty good enough. <laughs> guys, I appreciate you guys coming. See if y'all can yeah. wrestle up some fans for us. Yeah. That'd be tremendous. So, what's a walk-up town for you? You probably figured that out by now. Yeah, you're going to be out there holding one of them signs and shaking and dancing out there. See if